It's about time I show you guys the coolest thing in my house, right? This just looks like a normal... I don't even know what it looks like. A weird big cat bed. There's Manny right there. Yeah, Manny, hello! How are you? Are you having a good day? She doesn't even listen to me anymore. And then she just walks away. Okay, well, back to this thing. Big cat bed. Let me show you what it is. You ready? All right, I know you guys are wondering what this is, and you're probably also wondering why I'm like, grew so tall standing right by my ceiling. Oh, is there's Molly back there. Yeah, Mani. She doesn't care. Hope she doesn't jump on my big cat bed. Okay, here's the best way to get on the cat bed. It's not really a cat bed. Ready? Molly, watch out. Don't jump up. Set. She good? Go. <laughs> it's a big bean bag. Molly's nowhere to be seen. She's scared. Oh my gosh. Forgot I have to wake up and read a book. Today's book is called Once Upon a Goat by Dan Richards. Illustrations by Eric Barclay. Um, I'm already seeing a problem with this book. It The pages... They've been bitten by a goat. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, a king and queen wished for a child. Oh, so cute. So cute. So cute. Yes, but where would we put it? asked the king. Next to the vase on the hearth, naturally, replied the queen. Or beside the roses in the garden, the king added. Oh yes, perfect, agreed the queen. They're talking about where to put their kid and they say they're going to put it above the fireplace? They're going to put their kid in the garden? Weird. One day, their furry godmother stopped for a visit. desire she asked we'd like to start a family said the king we're not particular said the queen glowing skin bright eyes and hair like ocean waves should do hmm, said their fairy godmother a boy would be great added the king but any kid will do of course answered their fairy godmother Look on your doorstep when the moon is full. Like a full moon. There's going to be a kid out there on their porch. No way. At the next full moon, the king and queen ran to the door. Let it be a boy, said the king. With hair like ocean waves, said the queen. Bah, said the goat. I wanted a baby cried the queen it's my fault wailed the king i said any kid would do but i never meant this okay so apparently a baby goat is called you guessed it a kid isn't this the cutest thing you've seen all day i'm gonna zoom in on that little baby kid tongue that's so cute Ooh. So cute. Reluctantly, the king and queen brought the little beast into their home. Look on the bright side, said the king. We can still hold it like a baby. It has a goatee, replied the queen. We won't need to change its diapers, said the queen. That's disgusting, replied the king. At least it loves the royal roses, said the king. That's it. It has to go, commanded the queen. I guess we're better off now, said the queen sadly. A stand had to be taken for the roses, 
replied the king. Of course, said the queen. There's the baby goat. <sighs> that night it rained hard. It's not our fault we were given a goat, said the queen. Not our fault at all, added the king. And yet, I wonder if we were right to send the little fellow away on such a blustery night. Clearly he lacks the good sense to find shelter. I suppose he could just come in just for a bit to dry off. He looks hungry, said the king. Maybe he could share a nibble or two from our meal. It's late. We can hardly send him away now, said the queen. He shall have to stay in our room for the night. It's only for the night said the king. One night turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Before long, their fairy godmother returned for a visit. How is everything? Wonderful, replied the king and queen. Perfect. May I see the child? What does she mean? She already saw the child. It's right behind her. It's the goat. She dropped it off. What? I don't get it. Isn't he darling? Said the king. A blessing, added the queen. You must be joking, said their fairy godmother. It's a goat. Yes, left on the doorstep when the moon was full, just like you said. Uh-oh, said their fairy godmother. I'll be back. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> the baby they were supposed to get was accidentally left with the goats. And maybe the goat baby that they were supposed to get was left with the humans. This is for the best, really. My sincere apologies for the misunderstanding. I'll just return the goat and that will be that. Wait, said the queen. Perhaps there is an alternative, said the king at last. Yes, I see your point, said their fairy godmother. An alternative is another word for a different plan. So if I was going to drive down the street to get to the store, if there was a party in the middle of the street and I couldn't go through that street, I would take an alternative way to the store. So I would drive around the party. Well, said the king, not exactly the family we wished for. No, replied the queen. Better. That's the end. Bye, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Mwah.